to this map. And it's making pretty good progress. Now, <clears throat> this branch, because we don't need these two together, is our permanent first branch. These at the bottom, I think four, are sacrifices. But now we don't need one. Save this one and probably save this one for now. Uh, I use the string to pull down some of these instead of the wire, but now they're holding, so it's okay. Um, it's a little bit long in here, but I have one that's right here, and maybe we'll get something to pop in that spot. Um, I'm gonna also shorten these so that that will further encourage popping. Up here, we are going to remove these upward and save the weaker but more horizontal. Up on top here, we will have to start thinning out. You notice that they are growing much heavier. And that's sort of uh, how a pine normally grows. They have more energy on top. So to balance that energy, I'm going to have to thin this thing out and then get this to be stronger. And then, so looking at this, it has really good movement, but it gets confusing up there. I think I'm going to use this one as my leader. So I'll take this off, take this off, coming up that way, and then I'll, the next set of growth will move it again. Okay, I think I've done what I need to do for this stage. Uh, I'll put fertilizer, put it back in uh, a sunny location and let it grow. So that, um, but like I said, this one, we're looking at uh, good features. Um, a taper is good, movement is good. Now all we have to do is start to get more side branches but this is right on track. Now, by these big, strong, long candles, that this is, is very happy, is very healthy. So, um, now that we know how healthy these are, I'm gonna remove the most vigorous of these candles so that we could go more, um, refined shape but seeing how new candles come out in spring like this is a good way to the health of the plant and this one is very healthy okay now most likely this is going to be the front you have the front and this is our permanent first branch and then second third and so forth. Uh, actually, it might even be cut off here. In fact, I think I will. Um, this is a new apex and then you go that way. This particular branch is a sacrifice. It doesn't need to be here, but it helps in that fattening process. Therefore, I will leave it. Because it's a sacrifice, we will leave this in place. Remember I said that 99% of the time always remove the center leader. Well, by not removing it, there are going to be a lot of energy being pulled. And then you could also see that uh, I have pulled this down uh, previously so that uh, it's away. Now, if it was like this, it jams and interferes with the process of the, the permanent branches. So I have pulled it down, it's out of the action area, and then so I could let this grow as big as it wants to go. And then while it's doing that, it will fatten this area uh, much more than this. 
meaning that we will have a very good taper. So that was stays untouched. This is basically done for this stage. Looking at these long candles, we know that this is in very good health. Very strong, very healthy. So now I could go and cut them all off. And essentially, that's what we do, is we try to keep these healthy. And in the first part of the spring, we know by the size and the length of these first candle, the center candle, that it's in good health. But um, what we want now is to start uh, defining more shape. So we will remove those and use the secondary candles in our styling process. So here we go. This is more or less the way it should be. But down in here, there is a whole cluster and it's a good thing to leave it for a while, but if you leave too long, you end up with a bulge. So now I'm going to start to thin them out. Uh, eventually, there will only be one, but for now, I'm just going to leave a few extras, but we don't need five or six. Okay, so this is about where we want to be. Um, it's got... A good root flare uh, goes up the trunk, it's got movement, and it's got taper. A little heavy here, I'll remove that. And I would say, yeah, no way is this a finished product, but it's on its way. This particular one is doing some interesting thing at the root line. But as far as the top is concerned, we could still see all those vigorous candles, which is good indication of the health. So what I'll do is to just remove the center candle, like we always do. And what I need to do now is to thin this area out a little bit. There's just too much greenery. We're beginning to lose definition here. So I'll take care of some of that. And then as we come into here, there's a choice to be made in terms of apex, whether it should be this one here or this one. Sometimes these calls are difficult, but I think I'm going to bring it back more that way. So I'm going to keep this as an apex. I'll shorten this, becomes a side branch. And thin it out just a little bit more in here. And a little more here and I'll call it done. Not done, finished done for today. Here is an experiment. This is what we call air layering and um, this whole um, concept will be covered in more detail in another uh, instructional DVD. But uh, what was happening was this was just getting too tall and what I want this particular bonsai to be is this gone and we're going to work with that. So what I'll do is to go ahead and shape this part with this full anticipation of cutting this off. I just wanted to uh, save this as a separate tree and uh, work this as one. Most likely in the future it's going to get cut down here so this is the tree that it, we are working with. Okay, so this, what I'm going after with this particular as more towards the finish is this whole branch gone. If this makes it, I have an extra tree. If not, I'm just going to cut it off. So this is the line that I'm developed. 
This looks actually like a red pine, but um, basically we're going to treat it the same. And I think, see, it's holding. So I'll go ahead and remove that. And now what we want to do is sort of tighten up all the branches with uh, more workable greenery. So what I did was I just took the tips off. If I didn't cut them off, I could break them off. And essentially I'm just going to let it work a little bit. And essentially it's on its way for this part. What I did here was this branch was kind of coming back up. So what I did was I tied a bamboo stick here and here, held it in place, so by tying this, it'll go like that. Now, you notice that this one has not been cut. And what I plan to do is to let this shoot up, becomes uh, the sacrifice section. Although this part is probably permanent, what I'm gonna do is use this strong candle to strengthen this trunk, or actually a branch that will help to fatten the trunk. So it has a dual purpose, fattening the trunk and fattening the branch. But this is one of that few times that I don't take the center candle off just because I'm trying to draw the energy through that. This probably could be cut off a little bit so that it doesn't keep going. But Here's a slightly different approach, but basically we're looking for the ultimate finished product using the growth habits of the pine to accomplish that.